and Reginald on the bass. They're going to teach us all about the blues. Did you see me? I was over there like this. But they didn't sound like the blues to me. What were the components? In the blues. One, two, mm -mm 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 -mm. two. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The third section. Okay. All, all of these sections are four bars long. Two, mm. Before the show, you were playing the blues, and it was a lot slower. Right. Did it have those four components? Yes, it just it goes by at a slower tempo. Can you show me? Okay, I'll show you. We'll do one chorus of slow blues. One, two, and in the same key, just a slow. One, two, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. I'm learning today, okay, teacher. So we're going to go through several elements of the blues. All right. Now, one element is called a riff. 
And with a rip, that's when somebody repeats the same thing over and over again through this, through these three sections. Would that be like the vocalist would do? Oh, no, the vocalist wouldn't riff. The vocalist would sing the melody. And the riff is what the band would do in the background. Okay, show me a riff. And the riff is, a, is in, in life, it's the sign of continuity. So if you're suffering the blues and you're down, the riff in the, in the blues as music is a representative of continuity. So when you feel bad, you can just say, well, I feel bad right now, but you know life goes on and this is something for you to grab onto, like a raft. Well, let me grab it. So we're going to do one chorus. <laughs> <laughs> I've been suffering. Let oh, me grab it. Uh, grab it a little <laughs> We'll be with that a little late. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't hear what he said. <laughs> we're, so we're going to do it, do it at the up-tempo, and Marcus is going to play the riff, okay. and Reginald and Herlin are going to play the groove. One, two, and one, two, uh, uh. Yes, okay. that's a riff. Now, another, another element of the blues is a break. Right, the break is when everybody in the band stops and the soloist is left out to improvise something in the, in the open time. Can that be any of the instruments? Any of the instruments. Matter of fact, we'll do it and each instrument we'll play. We'll do, we'll do a set of uh, every, every fourth, see it's four of us, so every third bar we'll take a break. It's not going to work out right. But that's okay, because we'll be into a break by that time. Go ahead. So what, what the break symbolizes in, in terms of life is the conquering of the unknown. And the break is a new thing that existed in music. It didn't exist in European music. And this improvisation is the highest level of skill of any craftsman. It means that you know your craft so well that you can confront situations that are unknown and still exhibit mastery and conquer the unknown. So you're talking to me about music, but it sounds like you're talking to me about life. Right, that's what, that's what the music is about. And if your music doesn't have a human context, then it has no meaning. I would tell you what, let's do this. Let's take a break, a human break, and come back and take a musical break. <laughs> gets a chance to break and shine, so to speak. Well, we did that in this particular uh, arrangement just because it was a demonstration. But generally, it's just the soloist usually plays the break. Okay, so we got a chance to hear everyone this time right. on the break. All right, now we've learned about a riff and a break. Where does it go from there? Okay, also we have call and response. And this is like what happens in the church. You know, they say, up on the hill, didn't hear nobody pray. Down in the valley. Down in the valley. They stayed the too long. Thing. Okay. So, so what will happen is this melody that I'm playing, I play the melody and Marcus responds. Okay, show so me. We're gonna, on the third date, happy feet. One, two, mm -mm -mm -mm. This is getting easy. Right. So the riff, the break, and the response. You went, da -da -da, and he joined right in. Well, I played something, and he, he, he responded. Call, respond, call, respond. And call, where do we go from there? All right, now, we, we, the next thing we have is something that's called the solo. Now, the thing about the solo is that you have to make a coherent musical statement. It's like your time to shine. So what you have to do is invent out of your head, improvise melodies and themes that sound like blues, that convey whatever emotion or attitude you bring to the music to the audience and create it inside of the context of the blues form and give it logic, shape, and structure. So that I'm sitting there listening to you and I hear you. And you can hear me just like you hear me talking. You see, I invent a sentence and I try to make it make sense. Show me. Okay. Uh, now I'll play one phrase and then I'll, I'll improvise on it. Let's do the same thing. One, two, I mean just, uh, just on the blues form. One, two, well let's just do the slow blues. One, two, mm, mm. <laughs>
really heard you that time, all right? And each person plays with their own logic. Like now, so Martha, whatever you're feeling, whatever you're hearing, well, it's it's all encompassing. Like a lot of times in music, the feeling is not necessarily your feeling; it's the feeling that you bring to the music because you are like an actor. Like an actor doesn't have to be in anguish to act anguish. 